Hi, John Ed. Hi, Father Ed. This is Kara Russo here, reporting for Women of Grace in front of the World War I and World War II Memorial in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. This memorial stands in front of the headquarters for the Woonsocket Fire Department and is dedicated to the veterans of Rhode Island who lost their lives in the First World War defending our country and defending the freedoms that our country enjoys, including freedom of religion and freedom of religious expression. The atheist organization, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, is demanding that this cross be removed from public land and is threatening legal action if the city does not comply with its demands. Thousands of Rhode Island and Massachusetts citizens turned out for a rally in support of this cross and this memorial on May 2nd to make their voices heard. We will protect that cross! We will protect that cross! Give a round of applause! Many of these veterans fought in defense of a nation under God and faith in Jesus Christ. And to uphold positions such as the one taken by U.S. Supreme Court Justice O'Connor, she stated in the New Dow decision that this form of ceremonial deism is not an infringement upon the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment, but rather, because of its history, character, and context, does not violate the Establishment Clause at all. The removal of this cross from public land would be the government endorsement of non-religion or atheism. And the U.S. Supreme Court has decided that non-religion or atheism is the same as religion for the purposes of the Establishment Clause and the First Amendment. Others are talking about suing if it is removed and demanding the removal of non-religion or for the state to provide equal accommodation for Christianity and for other faiths to be represented as well. So why are you here today? I support the cross and U.S. freedom. Freedom because of the of essay religion, I wrote in the past few months, speak, I have had the honor of sitting and freedom in, sitting to say one nation under God. The removal of religion is an attack on the United States, right? Yes, it is. And if I believe it is. It's a communistic attack, I believe. You know, the removal of religion, this country will fall without our right to religious freedom. So we have to preserve our religious freedom, right? Yes, we do. And the crowd that's here today is just one instance where we are joining together. We are drawing the line in the sand. No. Enough is enough. So why are you here today to support Put your the cross? How many of you is out there? Because I came from a former communist country, Bulgaria, to live under God in nation, uh, one nation disappear. under God. When I said on the radio, and this is a clear attack by uh, on religion in the United States, parents, right? School, right. Religious freedom. Religious freedom. And, started, and that's what they did in communist countries, right? They removed religion and they, they made the government it, God, right? Exactly. It, yeah, exactly. And this is a, this is an attack on freedom, and it's a really uh, an attack by communist entities to remove religion from the public square. That yes. Stays yes. Right yes. There. You you experienced it yourself, right? Yes, and I'm supporting this fight with all all my heart. God bless you. Amen. Uh, I'm here to support so, the cross and uh, freedom of religion, Gagne which comes from the Revolutionary War. And I think more people have to understand what this country paid for this privilege to be free and to practice our religion as we see fit. And the flag stands for that purpose. And this is clearly uh, an attack on our society. Uh, the removal of religion is one of the communist agenda to destroy the United States. The destruction of religion is what Stalin said would make the United States fall. And this country will not fall to communism without a gunshot, right? Absolutely. She that is a uh, fact right, right to it. Uh, this has been the agenda for many, many years. years and people have fallen asleep. It's time to wake up and fight for our freedoms. And God bless you, sir. Thank you. you. God bless. So it's a private childcare with all of the Gagnon brothers. So, uh, why are you here today, sir? So we can be free. Our principles, our rights, our country, our freedom of religion, and especially what's right and wrong. It's wrong for them to try and remove our religious freedom, right? It's 100% wrong. It's one of the building blocks of our society, right? It certainly is. And this is a war memorial. Especially for people who fought against communism to remove such a symbol really is a, another sign that the country is being attacked by communism. The These people are no more than the felons that go into cemeteries and tip over but gravestones. That's what they are, and they're doing it legally, so there's something wrong with our legal system. And we have to stand up against it, right? And we have to unite as a nation.
Yes. And we have to, we can't let this country fall to communism without one single gunshot, right? We can't let it fall to atheist, communist, or anything else. This country is what it is. Right. God bless you, sir, right? Thank you. Keep up the fight. I think this monument is important to everybody, and I think that they should be recognized for everything that they went through to be on that monument today. You believe that people have the right to religious freedom, right? Yes. And the government ha doesn't have the right to remove that right, right? No, they do not. It's against the United States. To deconstruct the United States, it's actually, even in communist societies, they actually say they want to remove religion to deconstruct the United States. So this country's not going to fall to communism, right, without a gunshot? No. Nope. You're willing to stand up for your country, right? Yes, I am. You're willing to tell all the young people to stand up for their country? Yes. All right, God bless you, okay? And God bless you for being here. And together we can change things, you know? Yep. All right, God bless you. Sir, why are you here today? He's the grand we support the memorial that State of Rhode Island, remembers soldiers Oscar who gave the ultimate sacrifice in combat in World War I and future wars. And you're here to support the right of uh, people to be able to express themselves in the public square, right? Absolutely. God Absolutely. Bless the government has no right to take away your child's religious freedom, right? Absolutely. You're defending your child's religious freedom as well, right? I am. And this is clearly an attack on the United States. On the removing religion from 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 society is an attack on the United States. It it's one of the basic beliefs of our country. It is. So uh, why are you here today? Um, because I, my brother's a veteran. Um, we lost him about six weeks ago, and I believe that it's it needs to be. It's up to us, and if we don't start here, it's just going to continue. And where is it going to end? They're going to be going to Gettysburg, they're going to be going to Lexington, they're going to be going to our historic national battlegrounds, they're going to go to Arlington. What's to stop them if we don't start here and we don't take a stand? This is a memorial to people who gave everything to fight for this country. And it's up to us. What's your brother's name? Robert Marchand. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. The evening they lit streets with, with, with flares and they said it was like daytime. Bells were ringing in the fire stations and the churches across the city. I like your sign. Why are you here today, Miss? To support the fact that this cross should stay here. Right. Mr. Gagne's husband. Serviceman. Joseph here Gagne, a well-known city printer, right. died very suddenly. I have family members that were in service. Her son, Louis, 23. Both sides of the family. Who was working I don't on like a to see that disappear because we cannot forget them. For the funeral. A lot of blood was shed. He this stayed country. with his mother. Yeah, you see the attack on the United States by these types of um, communist tactics to yes, remove religion from the public square. Yes, I do. Yeah. A lot of it, and it's coming right from the Washington Only a few DC. Short years too. Later, and this country is not going to fall to communism without a gunshot, right? As yeah. a thin We're going to stand up against it. We're going to stand up against it. God bless you. Thank you. You too. After taking her husband and two sons, death had not finished with her. It has renewed my sense of resolve to fight for this monument. We will continue to stand strong. Yeah. The second oldest son of Miss Gagney. I've lost a lot of friends over in Vietnam after four tours of duty there. So that stands not only for them, but for all memories, for all people that we lost in the wars. I, with four Purple Hearts, God bless them. I am still here, thankful of that, but I will never let anybody tear that down. This is a clear attack on the United States and the right to religious freedom, right? Yes, it is. And, and the, removing the historical context of our, nat our nation. That's right. You know, the, the thing, all of us uh, you see here who were at the armed forces wrote, raised their right hand and said, I will defend my in it, my country against all, all enemies, foreign and domestic. So help me God. Right. That's what it says. The fight against communism is one of bit, one of been, has been one of the biggest threats the United States has faced in Vietnam through the, the domino effect, but also you know, through the multiple wars we fought, we fought against communism. One of the key goals of communism was to destroy religion in a country so the country would fall to communism. We're not gonna let this country fall to communism without a gunshot, right? Oh, we're not gonna let it fall to communism. No way, too many, my dead body. Too many, too many men died to, save, to, to fight for this country, right? 
and people are begging to come. I served 18 years in the Army. I speak Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, Mervis. I was an intelligence specialist. Uh, I've had people beg me to get them here somehow. They want to come to America. Why? Because it's the best. And they know it's the best. Why do you think we have so many illegal immigrants? Because we have a free country, and they want to get in here no matter how. People are trying to escape oppressive fascist governments, communist governments. They came here to this country for freedom, right? Right. right to religious freedom, That's right. the right to uh, express ourselves in the public square. Correct. And, and the removal of these things is a, is a, is a threat upon our nation. That's right. Thank you. God bless, God bless you. God bless you. to support uh, keeping God in America. Too long we've kowtowed to uh, the very few telling us we can't have our God anymore. And it's time if they're offended to accept it because I, we get offended at certain things, but we don't, we don't stop them from doing what they do. If they don't want to believe in God, that's up to them. We do, and we're proud of it. Wait, the, they're really being the definition of intolerance. They won't tolerate religious freedom. They won't tolerate our freedom of religious expression guaranteed us by the Constitution. They want to eradicate all religion and shut it down, which is un-American and unconstitutional. There's a big confusion uh, with the uh, atheist movement. It's not, they, what they want is they want us to become part of their sect and be anti-God ourselves. That, they're, not, they're, not, they're, not open, they're not accepting freedom to believe or not believe. They're trying to convert Christians to disbelief. Exactly. It's a, it's a radical and aggressive atheistic agenda. It's an atheist war on God. God bless you for being here. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless America. Atheism was deemed a religion by the courts. You're right. And actually, if that's the case, then why is one religion right now being that? promoted over another? Isn't that an interference of separation of church and state? Absolutely. If this is removed, they will be the government will be promoting only the religion of atheism right. and, and hindering and discriminating against every other established religion. Yeah. So yeah. that's that is what is unconstitutional. And you might as well remove the laws too because the laws follow the Ten Commandments. So that must, you know, then... Exactly. Our, 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 we were founded as a Christian country. We have freedom of religion and freedom of religious expression. Not just freedom of worship. Not just mm -hmm. in church. But right. everywhere. Everywhere yeah. we are. And what they're trying to do is sell a lie. A lie of separation of church and state being in the Constitution. It is not. It was, you know, you're smart to, to realize that. It was just when Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter to a church in Danbury, Connecticut, telling them that the government doesn't have any right to interfere with them. And the ACLU and other atheistic, communistic organizations have taken that and literally skewed it. You know, call, it, it reminds me of the the verse in the Bible, Isaiah 5.10, woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Mm -hmm. They're literally trying to twist that mm -hmm. phrase into making it something that means the opposite yeah. of what it was in, um, intended. And besides the fact that it was just a, a phrase in a letter, it has it is no place in our Constitution. It is no. not no. in our any of our founding documents. And they literally lie and they, and they promote that and use that as a way to advance their aggressive, atheistic, communistic, radical, secular agenda. Yeah, it's just, you know, there's no accountability. You can believe in no accountability. God bless you for being here. All right, praise God. You know, God bless also you. Also, don't forget, the first schools were in churches, and the first reading books were primers were Bibles. And it was You're absolutely right, the New England came. But this agenda, this radical, atheistic, communistic agenda has been working for, for the past decades, but mm -hmm. it's all based on a total lie, and they try to build off of things like taking down the, tearing down forcibly the Cranston West Banner and all of these yeah. things that they are using to set legal precedent because their goal is to completely eradicate God from society. And of course, if that ha if they, they don't realize, of course, that they're destroying themselves because without God blessing our nation, our nation will fall. Like Ronald Reagan said, if we ever forget that we are a nation under God, we will be a nation gone under. That's right. Praise God. Thank you.